What up, everybody? Tyler here from We're Not So Different. Just want to say, man, this up church hole, rabbit hole I dove down, man, it was worth it. All right? Um, did my first reaction video yesterday. Um, it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine. He said, look, man, I challenge you to do up church for a whole week straight, one reaction a day. I said, all right, bet. I'll take that challenge. Um, so, yeah, man, that's what we're doing. This is Can I Get an Outlaw? And I think it's featuring Luke Combs, if I'm not mistaken. This was shot in 2015. But, yeah, and if that's the case, man, hey, shouts out, man. That's what's up. Um, this dude definitely has done hit billboards. He's got a lot of people that hate on him. And I'm trying to figure out that. And I think it's just because, um, from what I've seen, is that they're shit theirself and they're trying to get his shit and say it's shit to get his hater base. Which is sad. But hey, man, you know how people are. Whatever they can do for attention, man, they're going to get it. But uh, anyways, this is We're Not So Different, man. If you're new here, consider subscribing. But uh, yeah, man, let's just jump right into it, man. Alright, man. Like, right there, you're like, okay, it's a good country song. You know what I'm saying? Luke Combs, you know what I mean? Jamming and bamming. Check this shit. He said, I want to see some kids in the back with 22s popping squirrels, what? Hey, real life country shit. Talking down in the holler, you hear me? Man, this like brings me back to when I lived in Kentucky. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, Tennessee. I lived in Mountain City, Tennessee for two years, man. Some of the best times of my life. Finally figured out what a holler was. I never knew what a holler was. Does any of y'all know what a holler is? A holler is like in a valley. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Let's keep it going. If y'all don't like this, you tripping. I'm fucking with it. So he said knife wounds in my backs from some friends, bro. Like getting stabbed in the back, bro. And he's got bars. Like y'all can't deny that. He's got bars. I'm not. I've not listened to a lot of his songs. Like I'm just now getting hit, but he's got bars. All we do, we muted it. Run it back. Hold on. Hey, check him out though. Yeah, what y'all gonna do when the stock market crashes are? Y'all gonna make it? These guys are flat out. He 
shit. And if I hear you talking shit, won't well, second guess the jacket jaw. <laughs> hey, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Hey, backwoods for sure, bruh. You can even hear it in his lyrics, right? What I like about this dude is he doesn't he doesn't bullshit. Like everything that comes out of his mouth is real. Real shit that he lived. You know what I mean? Things he went through in his life, like I mean it don't get more realer than that. And he's rapping on top of country. And it's live. Like He said, I'm breaking down these barriers like drywall that needs repaired. Come on, man. Bars. I'm going to say something, too. Because a lot of people get it twisted. Redneck. Okay, what a redneck is, okay, like a lot of y'all think of redneck, you know what I mean, style and all that, but really where redneck originated, like origins come from, is okay, a white person, we have white skin, right? So when the sun hits the back of their neck, it turns red. Like the more pale you are, the more redneck that you're, or the more red your neck gets. And what I'm trying to say is, like, yeah, it's, you know what I mean, country style, southern style. But a redneck originates from when you're white, your, your, your pigment of your skin is light. So the fact is, is that when the sun hits you, you burn. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's a, behind the redneck. Pretty strong. Cake stand, baby. Yeah. But this shit makes me... Like, y'all know I love rap. And I have country in me. It makes me want to be a country rapper. Doesn't it inspire you? <laughs> it inspires me. Look. What do you know about gold teeth being a country rapper? Huh? Diamond grill country rapping. What do y'all think about that? Where did you find this? Uh, at the bottom of the barrel balls. Anyways, that was it. Man. Listen. I'm trying to tell you, man, I understand this man has haters out there, but if he didn't have haters, he wouldn't be doing something right. Do you agree or do you not? Bruh, what I love the most that I was watching, though, is his reaction to reactions. Like, I have to do one of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like reacting to his music, of course, but bro, his reactions are fucking priceless. Dude, there's this one dude that he roasted. He had like, he said he had like 70-something subscribers. Bruh, he let this dude have it. Dude literally has no vocabulary, doesn't know how to speak, can't talk. He has lost his mind. And he's trying to roast and say that Up Church is whack. And it's hilarious because you know like in his heart, his heart's broke. You know what I'm saying? And Up Church hits him with the, oh, well, the only reason you have all these, because he's like, well, y'all dummies are giving me views. He's like, nah, my fans are following you because we're wrecking on you, you know what I mean? Basically laughing at your ass. And a week later, all them little views you got are going back down to 9 and 10 views. Bruh, I lost it. Like, literally, I have to do a reaction to one of his reactions because that is where, bruh, hilarious. Dude is a fucking wreck, bruh. He's funnier and shit. Like, love it, man. Love his hospitality. And one other thing I really like about this guy is... Um, he has a, uh, uh, was it a uh, Creek Squad? I think it is, 
and um, he he receives fan mail, and he literally gets on and opens this fan mail like on YouTube for his fans, lets them see it. Like he interacts with people. Um, I've seen where he um, other reaction channels. I'm actually not a reaction channel, but I like. Ooh, excuse me. Doing reaction videos, obviously, because these things are cool. This is my second one. I started with Up Church. Um, but he actually interacts with the people with the reactions because he says, hey, they're helping us. You know what I mean? Like, like they're getting us publicity. You know, it's like free promo. And he supports that. And he'll even, like, shout out and stuff like that. Like, that's amazing. Uh, uh, a man that really goes out of his way to make sure his fans are happy and making sure that he knows... That y'all are listening and y'all are paying attention. And the fact that he admires that and that he shows his care for his fans really blows my mind. You know what I mean? Because a lot of artists, like, you'll see him out and you don't even get to talk to him. Like, you, you can't go up and take a picture. They're like fucking, you know what I mean? They're like uptight in their assholes, you know what I mean, in real life. Or they'll be fucking sitting in a tent with air conditioning and it's 100 degrees out and you got VIP passes waiting on them and they're in their tent and AC and fucking somebody comes by and they're go get me a glass of water or something. You know what I mean? On some fuck shit. This dude seems like a down-to-earth ass person, a real person, and he's got a genuine heart and I respect the fuck out of that. And if you want to say I'm riding his dick, call it what you want. I don't ride people's dicks. I'm so, I don't know, man. I'm just saying this dude's live. If y'all don't think he is, I just love his whole personality, the way he is, how he carries himself, how he interacts with his fans, just the whole round person he is. You can tell he's Southern, and I respect that. So big shouts out up, church man, salute, and uh, hey, like I say at the end of all of my videos, man, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself, and remember, we're not so different. But if y'all want to check me out on the flip side, man, we'll have a subscribe button right here, and then right here will be a link to my self-help vlogs and the best video for the viewer. I love you guys, man. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Peace.